So for the internet seminar, we're trying something a little bit different about how the class is structured. Um, and so to explain that, my friend Marlon uh, let me borrow some of his Legos. And I'm going to use these little Lego friends down here to talk a little bit about what we're doing differently with the class. Um, so you know, in college, the traditional uh, classroom model is that you know, the students go to class. They sit there in, in some big lecture room. Uh, the teacher, obviously, is the stormtrooper here, comes out and you know, talks to them for a period of time. And they're all sitting here sort of taking notes. And then, um, and, and then that's how it works. And then he goes away, and they go off and do other things or whatever. Um, and, and so there's some problems with this. Um, the first problem is that a, a lot of, um, you know, maybe this is, seems a little bit boring to people now, I guess. So a lot of these students decide they're not going to come to class anymore. Um, uh, the, the robot always comes to class, obviously, but you know, and then some of the other students might be distracted in class. You know, they might uh, take, decide to take a little nap or whatever. Um, they might be sort of busy on their laptops or whatever, not really paying attention to what's going on. Um, and, and so, and so, there's some issues with this. And then, the, you know, the, the, this poor stormtrooper up here. You know, think about him. He's got to go to these classrooms. He pretty much has to say the same thing, you know, every semester, uh, maybe several times a week if he has to teach a couple of, of different lecture recitations. Um, and, and so, you know, maybe we can do better than this. So here's what we're going to try this year. So before you come to class, um, each uh, student in the class is going to be required to do some work on your own. So you know, you go uh, home. Uh, wherever the robot goes is home. I don't know where he goes at night. Maybe he just gets powered off or whatever. And so you guys spend some time watching these videos online. Okay, uh, we're going to assign about an hour, hour and a half of video content per week for you guys to review. Uh, probably, you know, maybe, let's say two hours at the maximum. So it's not too much. It might take you two hours to look at it uh, because you'll want to start and you want to stop and you want to make sure you understand everything. Uh, for each class, before you come to the classroom, uh, we'll have some uh, a list of videos that we want you to review, and we are going to monitor the fact that you're watching those videos uh, before you come to class. Uh, okay. Now, instead of a lecture section, maybe what we'll refer to these as are activity sections. So now, when we get together in the classroom, uh, rather than this sort of one-to-many uh, model. Uh, that, that's a little boring. Uh, what we'll do is you guys will, will break into groups and we'll have really interesting activities for you guys to work on during class. Um, class time is also a great chance for you to ask questions uh, of the instructor who's going to be there, obviously, um, to talk with other students about the material, to clarify things, maybe to review some videos together with other students. But during each class, we'll have an activity for you to perform. Uh, those activities we hope are going to be kind of exciting, interesting, uh, get you out on campus. Um, it give you a chance to sort of uh, make use and to engage with the material in a way um, that you would normally do outside of class, but we're doing that inside of class. As, as well, uh, the other great part of this class is in addition to the four fantastic instructors that are helping me out, uh, Jesse Hartloff, Andrew Hughes, um, Matt Hertz and Jennifer Winnicus, we also have a huge group of undergraduate TAs who are going to be there as well. So they'll be in class. Um, maybe with some scuba gear on or whatever that is. And, and they'll be around uh, to help you out, answer questions, help you guys with the activities, you know, uh, give you guys guidance as needed. Um, these are sophomores, juniors, and seniors in, in our department mainly. They're super excited about the internet. They're here because they want to help you guys learn. They're also great mentors for you as you start your career in computer science here. Um, and so this is what we're going to try. In addition, once a week, so we have two of these activity sections per week for an hour where you'll do these fun activities. And then uh, on Thursday or Friday, you guys will get together um, in, in groups. And you're, you'll, the, you'll engage in, in another sort of discussion that's led by a faculty member. Some of the faculty members uh, leading the course are going to do these. And then we have some volunteers in the department that are going to also come in to talk to you. And that'll give you a chance to talk in a little bit of a larger group about some of the questions that were raised by the material that we covered that week. Um, so in, in general, this is, this is referred to as the, the flipped classroom model. Um, it's something that we're trying. We don't know how it's going to work. This is the first time we've tried it in a course of this size. So it's an experiment. Uh, we definitely want you guys to give us feedback. Um, so if you're upset about something, you know, please come talk to the course staff. If the robot is mad about something, I don't know, what, whatever. whatever. Um, and, and give us your feedback. And we can use this to improve the class this semester and in future years. Uh, but we hope you guys enjoy this. We think we have a lot of great activities for you. Uh, we hope that you guys can, can interpret and, and understand the content that's delivered online. And thanks for participating in this experiment. We look forward to a great semester.